mermaid tail? Or maybe you want to become a unicorn? Then go quickly to a fairy tale tailor! How can you make your own magical look? Watch and learn in our new video! This weather is too hot for poor unicorn. Its fur makes surviving this time of year very difficult. It's high time to renew its wardrobe. This is such an interesting ad. Edna Modai provides superhero couturier services. I think she can help. We should call her. Great Edna is looking for inspiration. It's the first time she's ever heard a unicorn's voice over the phone, but she gladly makes an appointment. I wonder what outfit I should make for this rainbow animal. At last, Unicorn comes to the legendary Edna Modai's Atelier. There is all kinds of stuff here. And here comes Edna. First of all, the great fashion designer signs an autograph. Let's begin. Have you ever taken unicorn clothing measurements? It's not easy. The unicorn just can't stand still. How is Strick Edna supposed to work then? Let's take measurements of its waist, back, paws, and the distance from the horn to the tail. Now, let's get down to business. Edna's process of creation is in full swing. Fabric is flying around everywhere and the sewing machine overheated from her talent. What will she make? Will she make an outfit for Unicorn Fashion Week? Edna has been looking for suitable fabric for a long time. Fabric for unicorn clothing should be light as the wind, flowing like water, and be colorful like a rainbow. Oh! It seems that I've found something. If you don't have as much of a selection as Edna does, we will tell you what to do. Take an old light colored shirt, mark the armhole and fasten the fabric with pins, and cut off the sleeves. Remove the label. Cover your table with plastic wrap. Add water to acrylic paints of different colors. You will need one teaspoon of paint for every glass of water. Pour the solution into a spray bottle. Let's sprinkle the shirt with paint. Start from the top. Spray yellow in front. Cover the clean part with plastic wrap and wrap the top. Color the back of the shirt. Lay plastic wrap over the top, leave a white strip and use pink next. Then spray some purple. Try to create a smooth transition of colors. Dry and iron the colorful shirt so that the paint doesn't come off. Now you can hand wash it. Decorate the collar with a string of rainbow sequins. Cut out a round hole for a tail at the back. Gather fabric at the top. Unicorn got bored waiting for its order. You can't run around or jump like you can at home. There are no friends to play with here, and there's no air conditioning. I really want to go for a walk in my new outfit. At last, Edna Modai comes with a long-awaited present in her hands. What did she bring me? Unicorn is thrilled to open the package. Come on, hurry up to the dressing room. And here's the star piece of Unicorn fashion for this season. Unicorn will be cool and comfortable in this light shirt. But we forgot something. No horn, no unicorn. Edna made a light flower version. Cut a segment template out of a holographic rubber fabric. Fold the top and hot glue a horn. Make cuts at the base. Stuff the horn with polyester fiber filling and hot glue a round bottom made from the same fabric. Fasten the horn to a headband. Make ears from soft glittery details. Hot glue them to the headband. Decorate the headband with foam rubber sheet flowers of light colors. Attach beads. Now the outfit is complete. Unicorn should look in the mirror. It's so pretty.
But it seems that Edna forgot about another important detail. Wait, where is my favorite tail? One moment, the fashion guru will fix her oversight right now. Attach three glue sticks together for the base of a tail. Shape it so that it is bent. Sharpen the ends of the sticks with a utility knife. Cover the base with felt strips. Hot glue fake colored hair. Add colorful strands and adjust the tail. Secure it with a thread at the base. Prick a belt with an awl. Insert a screw and a washer. Twist the screw into the base of the tail. Hide the thread with a few colorful strands. Fasten it with hot glue. Now, Unicorn's outfit is all set. The rainbow tail is perfectly in place. Unicorn can go for a walk with fairy tale friends. Unicorn is happy. It's not hot in this outfit. And it can spend the entire day by a fountain. All that's on the to-do list for today is jumping around and having fun. But all of a sudden, Unicorn sees a sad girl. Hey, summer is not for being sad, but Redhead can't be happy with life. She dreams about a sea goddess look. She wants to be a mermaid, but she's wearing regular shorts. Not a problem. Unicorn knows a great fashion designer who can make the most magical clothes. Here, take Edna Modi's card. Edna is already here. As always, she takes this task on. It's time for a mermaid transformation. This is the perfect background for a mermaid. Where is our model? Redhead explains her perfect mermaid outfit with great detail. But Edna Modi is a queen of fairy tale fashion. She was the one to design Cinderella's wedding dress and Rapunzel's hairstyle. So there is not a lot you need to tell her. Edna has already made a sea queen crown. Coat seashells with white acrylic paint. And cover them with different ocean colors on top. Decorate starfish and coral the same way, and add some shine with gold paint and glitter. Attach the details to a headband. Shape them into a crown. Decorate it with fake pearls, pearl stones, and rhinestones too. Wow! This crown looks amazing on Redhead, as though she was born and raised with mermaids and dolphins. But that's not all yet. The sea fashion designer guides her further. Oops! Redhead is a bit clumsy. Oh wait! This is not Redhead anymore, it's Princess Ariel. Take an appropriately shaped bra. Cover it with stretchy purple fabric and sew it to the inside. Attach hook fasteners. Pull the center of the bra together with thread. Decorate it with a painted seashell. Hot glue fake pearls. Attach sequins to the edges. And then decorate it with stones and rhinestones of matching shades and hot glue strings of sequins. Any girl can become a sea goddess with this bra. This style and color look good on redhead. It won't take long before she learns how to breathe underwater. But the biggest transformation is still ahead. The most fashionable sea style creation is a tail, of course. Draw a cutout of a mermaid tail on cardboard. Trace according to your measurements. Cut it out. Trace the cutout on glittering fabric of an appropriate shade. Cut it out, leaving allowances for sewing. We will need two identical pieces. Cut out a tail fin the same way. Attach a layer of foam rubber sheet inside so that it is thicker. Sew all the pieces together. Decorate the bottom of the tail with decorative netting. Attach it to the bottom part of the tail using hot glue. Decorate it with painted seashells. 
We inserted elastic at the top of the tail. Gather it in the center so that it is shaped correctly. Sew the fins to the sides. Redhead is happy! Now she is a real mermaid! Edna Modi did a great job! The only thing left to do is wait for Prince Charming to come and take her off the cliff. Because it's too difficult for her to move on the shore by herself with this tail. But the sacrifice is worth it to feel like a sea princess. Redhead wakes up in her comfy bed. But there isn't any sea, shells, or scales around. It was only a dream, but it inspired her for a new look. Hurry to the mirror. Redhead does her makeup, and any mermaid will be jealous of her style. Paint a fishtail in the corner of your eye using sea foam colored face paint. Mix it with white and cover the middle of the tail with light turquoise. Mix blue and lilac eyeshadow on a brush. Apply it to the upper and the lower lid. Define the inner corner with pale turquoise. Cover your lid with a white base. And apply turquoise eyeshadow. Define your eyebrow with orange. My makeup is done. This mermaid looks into the mirror and sees Unicorn and Edna. Maybe it wasn't a dream after all. Edna is happy with how Redhead's look turned out. Now she's just missing a suitable top. Print an image of two seashells about three and a half inches wide and cut them out. Trace them with black acrylic paint on an old t-shirt. Put a board inside the t-shirt beforehand so that you don't stain the back. Draw lines and details inside the seashells. Add shine on the seashells with white acrylic paint. Add shading at the bottom with gold paint. Print a template of a round seashell for the back of the t-shirt. Cut out the inside details of the template with a modeling knife. Put it onto the back and trace it with a fabric marker. Cut it out carefully. Now the mermaid look is complete. The seashell at the back shows how much I love the sea. All that's left to do is to go to the beach. Did you like our fashion transformations? Then write in the comments which one of Edna Modi's outfits you would like to try on. And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new fashion ideas on Troom Troom.